What is going on guys and girls, welcome back to EU4 as Montferrat, the last Palaya Locus in the world. And once again, the family has grown smaller with the death of our previous monarch Theodore IV, uh, who fell down a set of stairs. That's quite a way to go for such an amazing ruler. But anyways, uh, now we have Boniface, or I don't know how you... <laughs> Boniface, I don't know. Uh, the second, anyway, he is going to take over the reins. And yeah, we've got some issues because first of all, there's uh, Pretender rising up. Uh, that is Alberto Manfredi. Um, he'll be crushed, obviously. But the problem we have is that our king is already 47 years old and he does not appear to have an heir. This needs to be changed very, very quickly. We'll have to see if it works out. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm scared because we don't want the House Palaya Locus to die out. We're the last ones in the world. Um, so, you know, this is this is bad. This is this is bad. Anyway, uh, as you can see here, uh, we have managed to piece out Bohemia and Poland was able to grab three provinces, three of their cores back. They still have a couple of cores, but you know, it was it was pretty good. And uh, now they're continuing on their war against Hungary. I'm not really helping them much at the moment because we have, uh, well, papal separatists here that I need to deal with. And uh, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing first. I have improved some of our, I have, or, well, I've started to build some more buildings here. And I have also finished off two of our ideas. So administrative, we got civil service, admin tech cost reduction, extra number of states, and we've also got an extra land attrition and land force limit modifier plus 50%. We can field such a big army right now. It's going to be amazing. But first, uh, I would like to show you that I've also uh, been able to get some more, idea uh, well, our first two policies, I guess. This is what we've uh, what we've gotten. And I love that uh, we we can see like the summary of bonuses down here. 15% more manpower recovery speed. So this coupled with some of the other things that we have. Uh, the young can serve the uh, parish register from our uh, religion. As well as, well, the nobility. Um, uh, isn't there something else? Shouldn't there be, shouldn't there be something about our government? Hold on. Don't we have something about extra manpower here as well? Oh, that's just. That's, that's just manpower, not manpower recovery. Right? Fabrizio Poma? Yeah, okay. Anyway, but yeah, so this is actually really useful. And we also get the uh, foreign spy detection. That's pretty good. And some land maintenance modifier, as well as corruption reduction. Uh, always very good. Anyway, we'll move on. Uh, I have already gotten a claim on Milan, and I'll get some other claims as well, because, you know, why not? Uh... I'm not, I think I'm going to go with Brescia here, just so that no one else can take over Milan. That's kind of the goal, but anyway, uh, we have to actually crush the uh, rebels here. They're going to be a little bit difficult to defeat, but that's fine. We get a new royal marriage from Austria. Yes, and a new queen consort Maria Theresia of the House von Habsburg. Mm, okay, we'll see what she's like. I hope she's fertile. That's really what we need. Um... And wow, our general was actually killed in battle. Actually, never mind. It was the other one. Okay. Perhaps they were both fighting. Who knows? Uh, but one just died. All right. So we'll deal with these pretender rebels. And I think we might have to spend some time to strengthen our government here. You know what I might do? I might have to help. Okay. This is big. This is really big. Because I'm not quite sure if we are ready for this. Now, Poland, I mean, man. Well, we have to help him. So, you know, this is, we have to join him. You know, there's no chance. So, what I have to do here is I will have to heavily subsidize our friends. In fact, another Royal Marriage wouldn't be bad either. Um, But yeah, this is... Like, this is necessary. Wow, these pretenders are actually not dead yet. They will arrive here. Okay, we'll follow them to uh, Arezzo and then to Rome. But yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have to do something here. Let's make sure... Okay, our fleet is ready. I have built five more ships. Mm. And yeah, we can obviously build a lot more infantry. But the problem is we, right now we don't have a whole lot of manpower. Is Austria joining in on this as well? Yes. 
Okay, so this is kind of a triple alliance of Poland, Lithuania, Austria, and Montferrat fighting the Ottomans. I hope that we'll be able to uh, peace out Hungary soon here, because this war is kind of not an important anymore. Uh, the Pope called for a crusade against Tunis. Uh, I mean, that's giving bonuses to Austri Austria, Poland, Lithuania, so that's good. We, unfortunately, as a Protestant, don't get any benefits from that. Um, but it's all right. Can we actually see the benefits? Hold on. Um, Catholic Empire. Yeah, it doesn't show any of this. All right, fine. Whatever then. So, yeah, we've got manpower issues that we kind of need to deal with. Um, but first, let me see. So, how am I going to do this? I need to send massive amounts of money. I wonder if you are in debt, actually. They have no debt. Uh, wow, they have 900. Okay, so Poland needs help. Financial help. Big time. Uh, okay. Now, Tunis, I think, has a navy that we can maybe defeat. Actually, in fact, look at this. This... Oh my god. I think... I think we might be able to win navally here. Giuseppe Conti, our admiral, he'll be sent out. Uh, we'll also bring our uh, light ships, actually, because they can at least help something in combat. Um, send you here, too. Although, actually, probably not that useful. Uh, and we'll uh, try and take out the uh, Tunisian navy here. Because that's already going to be quite a victory. So, the, uh, the Ottomans have already arrived. Uh, I'm going to have to help out as well. Now, I'm thinking it might be better if I start using some mercenaries here. Because we're running out of manpower quickly. Uh, reduce this. Yep. And let's see. Let's call it diet. Because we get a little bit more manpower recovery speed, I think. Or maybe not. Who knows? And you could raise additional levies. 9,000. Let's do that. 9,000 extra troops. And yeah. Okay, let's let's be smart about this, actually. Let's see how this goes. Let's uh, slow down. Modena has more rebels. Okay, so right now, this is very upsetting that we have rebels. Uh, I'm going to have to split our army in two, I think. Otherwise, we're taking too much attrition. Let me see if I can grant generalship here. There you go. See how this... Okay, this is not a great leader. I'll take it. And we'll go to Luca with you and to Romania with you. Okay, so this naval engagement seems to be going quite well. Hashim Akimi is not standing a chance against Giuseppe Conti here. Very good. Although, well... No, yeah, we're killing his ships. Now there's the Ottoman fleet coming. Uh, but they have hardly any combat ships. So I'm actually going to stay in this fight. Because they've got, they've got really nothing to offer us. It's just they're bringing a lot of, you know, dead wood, basically. So I'm actually just going to stay here. Because they're going to start losing morale very quickly. Yeah, look at that. I mean, I would like to avoid losing ships myself. But so far... That's looking pretty good. Novara's looks like has some issues. There's more ships being brought in. But I think we're doing a good job here. Alright, let's destroy the rebels. And then move on to Verona. Okay. So we might have our first naval victory. And then we'll have to see what we do here. So this is basically one big army. Mm, the Ottomans don't really have a huge, huge advantage here. I think we can, if we're smart about this, we can win. But yeah, okay, so we completely annihilated their fleet. Almost. They saved only a couple of ships. Okay, well, we're going to send our transports here. And I think that I might start an invasion of uh, Tunis. Because Tunis doesn't have that many men. With like half of my army, I'm going to start invading Tunis. That's probably what I should do. Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, we'll crush these rebels. And the, and the rest, I'm going to have, you know, attach. So, Timoto Bizarrely, whatever his name is, he's going to be sent to, uh, to Tunis. That means you can no longer be mothballed. Go to Genoa here. And these troops will send to help out our friends. 
Okay, 31 ships. Let's heal them up. Genoa as well. And, okay, we'll see how this battle goes. This is Poland-Lithuania fighting the Ottomans. Um, they have chosen good terrain. Okay, very good. Very good. Now, I wish we could just peace out Hungary at this point. Because, honestly, they're not helping. They're not helping. Yeah, so I, I think I'm going to try and pressure out uh, Tunis out of this war quickly. And then we'll focus our efforts more on the Ottomans. I think we got this. In, I think we got this. Maybe I'm being a bit too cocky here, but I have the feeling we can do this. So, um, hold on, Milan. Give me another claim on Brescia. Let's come back because uh, I need to send out some. Okay, white peace with Hungary. Yeah, I think that's fine. I mean, you got something out of the war. You 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 got something, so it's okay. But. Um, now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be sending you some, well, first of all, give me this royal marriage there and give, I'll send you some subsidies because you need it desperately, dude. Like you need it. <laughs> right. Our manpower is looking okay ish. There seems to be another victory for the allies. Very good. Don't know, man. Now I'm not too certain anymore. Nope, this is looking bad. Okay, we lost a claim on Palermo. That's not a big deal. Uh, well. Okay, maybe I was uh, I was a bit too happy. Because this is not looking too good. Because you've got more troops in... Yeah, obviously. You've got more troops back there. So. Um, subsidies. This is what I was talking about. Give subsidies. I think... Uh, how much can we afford? We can afford a lot. So I would say uh, I'll give 10 gold per month to Poland, 10 to uh, Lithuania. And I think Austria is fine. Uh, we would have received a gift from Mamluks. That's nice. I'm going to give that to my allies, actually. Uh, 10 gold per month. Wow, we can actually subsidize these guys significantly. I hope this helps. I mean, it should. So yeah, we're paying 20 gold in subsidies. I think Austria is fine. Uh, I don't think they need it. They, they, they don't need that desperately. Okay, so our troops are kind of on a retreat right now. Not sure if I should be barging in here. Probably not a good idea. Let's just go and... Uh, yeah, just kind of retreat. And probably... Get you guys on here. And we'll... We'll move on. Actually, you know what I will do? I'll send you guys to Corsica first. Now we can move you from Cagliari. That's probably the better option. So you can go here. It's just going to make things faster. Or safer, I guess. So we don't have to go that far. Yeah. Wait the end of the month. So we get the repair tick. And go to Cagliari sent both of these guys over okay so we see we see enemy ships okay I think I'm gonna be moving against the Ottomans here uh, that's only 29 let's go little Lvov or whatever it's called uh, I think we can do this I think we can afford to fight them there so you let me know if you need subsidies too you have no debt. Uh, I can afford to subsidize you as well. Let's do that. You're going to build some troops here, I think. So just heavy subsidize these guys. Are you actually trying to blockade me, dude? Are you really that stupid? Okay, you've got nothing here. You're going to the Ligurian Sea. I'll catch you there, my friend. Yeah, you've got no, no, no way of escaping, dude. You messed up. Okay, we've crushed a lot of their ships. Stolen another transport. Um, which I don't mind. Let's go to Sasari. Let's reorganize our fleet. And then we'll attack. Now, Vienna should not fall. It should be something we avoid. Alright, I'll move in. Hoping for reinforcements from... 
uh, anyone really. Okay, I thought Lithuania might do something. What did Russia declare war? No, Russia is fighting Sweden here, Sweden and Bohemia. All right, so we've clashed. I hope we're getting some reinforcements. We have more morale than the Ottomans, but that's kind of it. So we need reinforcements quickly. Now we have more cannons. This is our big advantage. We are so rich that we have so many cannons that we're dealing some significant damage. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're fleeing. That's good. That's really good. As long as... Oh my god. Vienna already fell. Holy shit. Alright. Anyway. Get the transport ships together. I can upgrade them as well. One of them. Alright, fine. Whatever. And... Go to Kalyari. Quick. In fact, let's just go here. And... Uh, yeah, move. Move, move, move. I hope that I can besiege both of this at the same time. That would be ideal. And we can convert more provinces. Let's do that. Okay, so the Ottomans... I don't know, they're kind of running or something? I'm not sure. Should probably... Hmm. I mean, there's 38,000 men coming. They're doing something. I need to be there to help out. I've got 20,000 manpower. I'll take the spy network construction speed. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to help in time. Uh, it's not looking too bad, actually. It's actually not looking too bad. All right, let's move in and help if we can. I think we might be able to win against the Ottomans here. It's uh, We're not going to be getting anything out of it because it's Poland uh, leading the charge, basically. Um, but this is good. This is good news. All right, and you, actually, you go here, and you go here. Perfect. So we have the coastal barrage. Right, I did go for a new age thing. Uh, so I got the coastal barrage. So that should actually help us in sieging uh, Tunis, capital. And I really just want to bully them out of the war. That's the whole, that's the whole goal here, right? Because they do bring a lot of, well, not a lot of troops, but they bring some troops, you know? And once they're gone... It's going to be looking much better for us. Okay, so there's nobody helping me here. Um, that's not good. Because I could get crushed if I'm not careful. But it seems like the Ottomans are afraid. So it's all good. Looks like the Ottomans are going to try and defend Vienna. Uh, it's not bad. It's not a stupid move. Alright, and they're going to attack us here as well. Uh, we're in the hills. Uh, I can actually escape though, so... Nice try. Oh, shit. No, never mind. I was caught. Alright, so... Um, as long as our front line holds, we're dealing significant damage. Um, but I think uh, it's time that we uh, retreat. I'm going to retreat to uh, the uh, capital. So we lost a lot more men, but it's it's not that bad. Considering... Considering... Uh, the amount of troops they brought it was actually not too bad okay local defensiveness nice kev has fallen and i think we're gonna go to dara next because remember all i want to do here is uh force them out of the war which shouldn't be too difficult i don't even know where their troops are at i don't know if this is going to be enough uh to siege Monfrat gets merchants favored. Sure, favor the merchants. Actually, hold on. Uh, well, it's just transports, really. Okay, let's send our own uh, light ships here to help locate. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, okay, you're moving to Dara. That's right. That's actually... Ah, I see. I was uh, looking at the wrong page or the wrong province. Okay, so we're going to have to help Austria here. We're going to have to help them. Now, they are making a huge mistake here by standing in the mountains. Um, but we are having rebel issues. Okay, so it's not easy. But I do think that we are going to win this. Just because I have so much money that I can pump into Poland-Lithuania. That uh, that's just going to be overwhelming. We'll have to see, though, uh, how it goes in the next episode.
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Now, if you want to help return Constantinople to its rightful owners, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And you can even go a step further and join the newly formed Varangian Guard by becoming a supporter on Patreon.